Good evening and welcome to this celebration of prayer and praise. Uh, hopefully the live stream is working this time. Apparently it didn't quite work last night, but uh, hopefully no problems today. Hopefully you can all see me. Uh, today we celebrate the feast day of the wonderful uh, Saint Pius of Pietrelcina, effectively, um, affectionately known as Padre Pio. He had an incredible life of poverty and humility and prayerfulness. Um, spent many hours a day in prayer. He was a Capuchin friar. He spent most of his time hearing confessions as well and obviously celebrating Mass. He was a priest. There are two things that he's particularly well known for. One is his theology of suffering. Uh, he himself experienced intense physical pain. Uh, he even bore the stigmata, uh, the, wound, the five wounds of Christ in his hands and feet um, and in his side. And he, he had this idea that all of our suffering, whatever suffering we may experience, um, can be seen as a, a way of uniting ourselves with Jesus on the cross. And that when we do that, people can experience God's grace. Uh, and so out of that intense physical experience of, of, the, of the passion of Christ in his own body, in his own soul, um, he became a very powerful intercessor. This is the second thing. He was famous for... Um, working many miracles, many miracles, uh, hundreds and hundreds, and people used to go and see him. I've been to his shrine in San Giovanni Rotondo in Italy, and thousands of people came to he hear his spiritual direction, to come to him for confession, and many, many experienced miracles. So always a good saint to turn to uh, to intercede for us in whatever challenges or difficulties we may be facing. But of course, he always gave the glory to God. And that's the most important thing. He had this undivided love and devotion to the crucified Lord Jesus. Um, and that's his example to us. That is what we uh, should have, really. Um, to be able to put the crucified Lord in the center of our lives and thus experience the grace of the passion and the resurrection of Jesus. We begin by celebrating the wondrous incarnation. We say together the Angelus. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived by the Holy Spirit, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O most holy Mother of God that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. For forth we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. O oh God, come to our aid. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. O 
Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. Who are these like stars appearing, these before God's throne who stand? Each a golden crown is wearing, who are all this glorious band? Alleluia, hark they sing, praising loud the heavenly King. These are they who have contended for their Saviour's honour long, wrestling until life was ended, following not the sinful throng. These who well the fights are stained, Triumph through the Lamb have gained. These your priests have watched and waited, offering up to Christ their will. Soul and body consecrated, day and night to serve him still. Now in God's most holy place, blessed they stand before his face. The Lord is my light and my help. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Before whom shall I shrink? When evildoers draw near to devour my flesh, it is they, my enemies and foes, who stumble and fall. Though an army encamp against me, my heart would not fear. Though war break out against me, even then would I trust. There is one thing I ask of the Lord, for this I long, to live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to savour the sweetness of the Lord, to behold his temple, for there he keeps me safe in his tent, in the day of evil. He hides me in the shelter of his tent. On a rock he sets me safe. And now my head shall be raised above my foes who surround me. And I shall offer within his tent a sacrifice of joy. I will sing and make music for the Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord is my light and my help. Whom shall I fear? It is your face, O Lord, that I seek. Hide not your face. O Lord, hear my voice when I call. Have mercy and answer. Of you my heart has spoken. Seek his face. It is your face, O Lord, that I seek. Hide not your face. Dismiss not your servant in anger. You have been my help. Do not abandon or forsake me, O God, my help. Though father and mother forsake me, the Lord will receive me. Instruct me, Lord, in your way. On an even path, lead me. When they lie in ambush, protect me from my enemy's greed. False witnesses rise against me, breathing out fury. I am sure I shall see the Lord's goodness in the land of the living. Hope in him, hold firm and take heart. Hope in the Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. It is your face, O Lord, that I seek. Hide not your face. <clears throat> he is the firstborn of all creation. 
He is supreme over all creatures. Let us give thanks to the Father who has qualified us to share in the inheritance of the saints in light. He has delivered us from the dominion of darkness and transferred us to the kingdom of his beloved Son, in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. For in him all things were created, in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible. All things were created through him and for him. He is before all things, and in him all things hold together. He is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in everything he might be preeminent. For in him all the fullness of God was pleased to dwell, and through him to reconcile to himself all things, whether on earth or in heaven, making peace by the blood of his cross. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. He is the firstborn of all creation. He is supreme over all creatures. Now I have something to tell your elders. I am an elder myself, and a witness to the sufferings of Christ. And with you I have a share in the glory that is to be revealed. Be the shepherds of the flock of God that is entrusted to you. Watch over it, not simply as a duty, but gladly, because God wants it. Not for sordid money, but because you are eager to do it. Never be a dictator over any group that is put in your charge, but be an example that the whole flock can follow. When the chief shepherd appears, you will be given the crown of unfading glory. The word of the Lord. This is a man who loves his brothers and intercedes for the people. This is a man who loves his brothers and intercedes for the people. He laid down his life for his brothers. This is a man who loves his brothers and intercedes for the people. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. This is a man who loves his brothers and intercedes for the people. This is the faithful and wise steward whom the master placed over his household to give them their measure of food at the proper time. My soul glorifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He looks on his servant in her lowliness. Henceforth all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty works marvels for me, holy his name. His mercy is from age to age on those who fear him. He puts forth his arm in strength and scatters the proud-hearted. He casts the mighty from their thrones and raises the lowly. He fills the starving with good things, sends the rich away empty. He protects Israel, his servant, remembering his mercy, the mercy promised to our fathers, to Abraham and his sons forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. This is the faithful and wise steward, whom the Master placed over his household, 
who give them their measure of food at the proper time. Let us pray to Christ, the High Priest, who is appointed to represent all people in their relations with God. Lord, save your people. Lord Jesus, in times past, you have lighted the way for your people through wise and holy leaders. May Christians always enjoy this sign of your loving kindness. Lord, save your people. You forgave the sins of your people when holy pastors prayed. Continually cleanse your church through their powerful intercession. Lord, save your people. In the presence of their brothers and sisters, you anointed your holy ones and poured on them your spirit. Fill with your Holy Spirit all the leaders of your people. Lord, save your people. Nothing could ever separate the holy pastors from your love. Do not lose even one of those whom you redeemed by your passion. Lord, save your people. Through the pastors of your church, you give your sheep eternal life, and no one can steal them from you. Save the faithful departed for whom you laid down your life. Lord, save your people. With thankfulness and trust, we offer now to the Lord our personal intentions, during which we ask also for the intercession of Saint Padre Pio. Let us pray for all those affected by the coronavirus, especially in the light of recent government announcements. We pray for businesses that are facing difficult times, and we pray for all the key workers and for anyone who is feeling anxious. We pray for Father Chris Benyon on his 80th birthday today, a former parish priest of St. Pius X in Merrow. for the well-being of Margaret and Tony Martin on their wedding anniversary today. Let us pray for the sick, for Hannah, who is having an operation tomorrow in preparation for cancer radiation treatment. For Marilyn, who has had a stroke and is on the long road to recovery. Yassel would like to give thanks especially for the blessings, guidance, and protection received from the Lord during this time. We continue to remember Teresa, Dominic Clarkin and his parents, Thomas Harrington, John Cantwell, Jason's son who has COVID, Celia, baby Liam, Charlemagne Fernando, Rosina, Martha, Tony Van Hoey Smith, Edward, Carol, Anne, and Graham Leijahan. We pray for all those who have died recently or whose anniversaries occur around this time. For the repose of the soul of Joe Gaffney. and for Gunther Schlichting, who died last week. We continue to remember Duncan Bell, Margaret Money, Anne Lee, Pat Blake, Zita Viegas, David's brother, Alice Martis, Sharon, Sharon Shortland, Paul Garrard, Judy Neto, and Auntie Trish. 
we remember always with great love and affection the families and friends of those who have died, as well as all those who are grieving in any way. May the Lord come to them and comfort them in their sorrow. We offer these and all our prayers, both those made aloud and those that are within the silence of our hearts, up to the Father, in the powerful name of Jesus Christ our Lord. And we ask for the intercession of St. Pius of Pietrocina. St. Pius, pray for us. At the Saviour's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord God, light of the faithful and shepherd of souls, who gave blessed pious to your church to feed your flock by his teaching and form them by his example, grant that by his intercession we may keep the faith which he taught and follow in the way he walked. We make our prayer through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We finish now the evening prayers with the third, uh, the third glorious mystery, the descent of the Holy Spirit upon Our Lady and the disciples at Pentecost. We ask the Lord for a fresh outpouring of the Holy Spirit upon the hearts of, of all the faithful, but especially upon those of us gathered here in prayer tonight, and especially upon those for whom we have offered our prayers. Help us always, Lord, to grow in faith and trust and to rely at all times on your divine mercy. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, Save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. Amen. Alve Regina, Mater Misericordiae, Vita Dulcedo, et spes nostra salve. Ad te clamamus, exulans filii heve, ad te suspiramus, dementes et flentes, in ac lacrimarum vale. Ea rego advocata nostra, illos tuos misericordes oculos, ad nos converte. Et Jesum benedictum fructum ventris tui, Nobis post hoc exilium ostende. O Clement. 